Michelle. And because we aren't able to get together for Teen Space at the library on Mondays, we are going to try a little experiment by challenging you to do some cooking at home. So before we begin, the first thing you obviously need to do is wash your hands. So that's about the 3,000th time I've washed my hands in the past two minutes. Anyway, okay, so today we're going to make some chocolate pancakes. And I've got a recipe here that I'm going to share with you and then I'm going to open it later for you to share your recipes with us. So we're gonna start with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, and then we're going to add a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, a half a cup of sugar, and two teaspoons of baking powder, and a pinch, can you believe it? Yes, a pinch of salt. And then we're going to whisk this all together so it's all mixed up. Not powdery. That's going to kind of look like this. Then we're going to put that to the side as we prepare our next step. So taking another bowl, we're going to add one and a quarter cups milk, one large egg, and two tablespoons of butter, which needs to be melted. So I'm going to start by mixing the milk and the eggs together while we wait for the butter to melt, and then we'll add that to this mixture. And then we'll add all of the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. So we'll just take a second. I hope everybody is enduring this coronavirus thing. Okay, I know it's been hard and I'm sure you all miss your friends. So hopefully this will give you something a little extra to do. That'll be different perhaps than what you have been doing. I hope school's going well. I'm sure it's not too easy doing it from home, but it's good to learn things always, so make sure you're doing it and doing it well. Okay, so that's all mixed up. Now we're going to bring our dry ingredients back over, and we're going to mix the dry in, or the wet in with the dry, and we're just going to stir it until it's well mixed. But the instructions say not to over mix it. So we're not going to over mix it. Some lumps in your batter are going to be fine. But you should make sure that all your dry ingredients at least are wet with what we've just added. This is what it should look like. Now we're going to start cooking our chocolate pancakes. And in order to get started, we need to have a good frying pan or a griddle as I have, and one tablespoon of butter. And I'm going to turn my burner on to medium high. After the butter has melted, you take a quarter cup of your batter and pour it into your onto your griddle and make sure that you evenly spread out the batter so that it'll cook properly. If you look at your batter, it's starting to form some little bubbles around the outside. That's a good indication that, the, that it is ready to flip. So I'm going to flip this one over. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. This one I'm gonna give just a second longer and then I'll flip that one as well. Once you've flipped them, it doesn't take as long for the other side to cook, so just give them a couple of minutes and then shut them off, or take them off. Now we're gonna take and put this creation together. So we take one pancake, put it on our plate, take some whipped cream, slather it all over the top, 
looks like this. And we take another one, put that on the top of that, put a little bit more whipped cream on this one. Put the third pancake on top and put a big dollop of whipped cream on top of that. Now we're going to sprinkle some Oreo cookies all over the top. And all over that, we're going to pour some chocolate syrup. Does this not sound incredible? I hope you like chocolate. So, this is our creation. I'm sure it's absolutely delicious. I am going to serve it to my family now, and hopefully they'll enjoy it. I'm going to leave you with one last word. Have a good time with this. Try thinking of your own creations or try finding some different recipes and share them with us. If you want to take some pictures of what you've created, post them on our Facebook link. And don't forget to clean your dishes. I hope you're having a good day. See you soon. Bye.